Development Channel. My name is Sandra of Nomad Stitches and welcome to my studio. Today's episode is all about the Kids Bill cardigan, which is this one that I am wearing over here. Uh, this is a mosaic crochet cardigan. It's all work mosaic crochet all the way to the sleeves and the bottom and it's really really fun to make and, um, and it's really quite easy. It's just um, the mosaic pattern can be a bit um, you know difficult to get used to especially at the beginning so i wanted to make this video to work the first few rows of the beginning of the cardigan over here so that you understand how to work the charts in each section and how to increase at the raglan um, points and how to increase at the front as well to achieve this little v-neck and then the raglan increases on the side so as you can see there are four sections there's the back there's the sleeves and there is the front which is divided in two so actually there's five sections now the back and the front are the same except the front is kind of cut in the middle so the the charts are a little bit different there um but i think that after this video you can figure out how to follow the charts to make um making this cardigan a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable to you uh, so I'm going to work the first few rows with you. Uh, if you are watching this video, it's probably because you've already bought this pattern, uh, which is great. Thank you for that. <laughs> if you're interested in making this cardigan, I'm not going to give all of the directions on this on this video. So I would definitely recommend buying the pattern and then come back here and follow the first rows with me so I can help you out and we can make it together. So if you're ready to work, I would recommend to just take out your yarn and let's work the first few rows together so that you are on the right track to finishing as soon as possible. If you are new to Mosaic Crochet, this video does not tell you at all about how to follow Mosaic Crochet chart. So if you've never done it, I would definitely recommend watching my other video on Mosaic Crochet. I'll put the link over here. Um, that one definitely has all of the information that you need to know for how to follow the charts, okay? So if you have never worked with standard mosaic crochet, please watch my other tutorial first and then come back to this one so that you understand what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with our first few rows of the Kids Buell cardigan. All right, so this is what the first two rows of the cardigan looks like. look like. So these two are the fronts, and then we have the two sleeves and then they have the back we have the back now the red markers are the raglan stitches i have four and the blue markers are the middle of section markers okay so on row two which was on my wrong side i increased my raglans and i just passed my middle of section markers and remember that on every row, wrong side and right side, I will be increasing at the front. Okay, so this is what it should look like at this point on row two. Now, after this, we will start following the charts. Now, this is how the charts work. You should have this um, image in your pattern. So the front chart is followed on the right side, then the sleeve, then the back, then the sleeve again, then the front, chart three and then on the way back we go back with chart three chart two two again two again and then front chart one okay so this is for you to understand how these charts work so chart one is only for the front then two is repeated on the sleeve then the back then the sleeve again and then the other front is chart three so why don't we get started with chart one which is the front Now, this is the extra small. On the extra small, I will start on row 9, which is over here. Now, we will start with row 9. But the first thing I need to do before I start with my row 9 is change colors. So, I will show you how to change colors um, for this pattern to make it nice and neat. Now, on this last stitch, I have my last increase. I have already made my increase. So I will undo that one stitch. I start my single crochet by inserting the hook on the last stitch of the previous row. Then I change 
to my new yarn and I finish that stitch with my new yarn. That's it. Chain one and then on the next stitch I will hide my old yarn inside that first stitch. So I will insert my hook again for an increase and I hide the yarn inside the stitch like this. Okay, and that green will just simply stay at the back, not bothering me at all. I drop it so I don't continue to hide it and then I continue with my next row. Now row nine for the extra small, I have an increase on the very first stitch, which means that I need to make one more stitch, okay? And then let's see what else I have. I need to work the first stitches of the round, right? So I have chain one, skip one, single crochet, okay? So chain one, skip one, and then single crochet. And then I have one, two, three, four stitches before my raglan marker. This is a raglan marker. One, two, three, four stitches. So I don't have any space to work the pink, which means that I will simply skip this section in pink and move on to the last stitches. One, two, three, four. And then there's my raglan marker, so I will do what it tells me to do, which is simply to sing single crochet. So, single crochet. Okay, that's my front. Now I go to my sleeve, which is chart two. Okay, so we are on row nine, which starts there. I have one, two, three, four single crochets. One, two, three, and four single crochets. Then I have an X, but because this is my first row working the chart, those X's will become single crochets. There will be no double crochets in this row. Only on this row, okay? The other rows, you will work those X's, but on this row, those X's will become single crochets. So five. Okay, so I have an O there, so I will chain one, skip one, which is there, and then I have one, two, three, and I'm at my middle of section, so I will pass that marker. I always pass that marker. Four. Now, I'm at my middle of section, and I don't have any more stitches, so the section in pink will simply go ignored, and on the other side, because I don't have enough stitches on the first half, I won't have enough stitches on the second half. So I simply ignore the pink and go to the last stitches of the row, which is one, two, three, single crochet. So one, two, and three. Chain one, skip one, and then single crochet to my raglan stitch which is one, two, three, four, five. Oops, let's keep one. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I have my raglan stitch. So I simply pass my marker and that's it. There are no increases on the right side, you see? So I simply pass my marker and I'm done with my sleeve. Now for the back, I will repeat chart two. So I start over here, one, two, three, four, five single crochets. Remember that the X is a single crochet on this row only. So one, two, three, and four, and five, chain one, skip one, and one, two, three, and four. Now, 
I do have enough stitches to work my pink before my marker. So I will repeat the pink until I reach my marker, which is single crochet, chain one, skip one, four single crochets. Okay, then I repeat it again, single crochet. Three and four. Now I am at my middle of stitch, which means that I go to my next pink section. One, two, three, chain one, skip one, one, two. One, two single crochets. Now, because on the first half I repeated the pink two times, then I will have enough stitches on the second half to repeat it two times. So let's do it again. And then I do the end of the row, which are the last stitches before my raglan. One, two, three, one. Chain one, skip one, one, two, three, four, and five, and then I have my raglan stitch. Okay, I'm back to the sleeve because my back is finished, so this is what it should look like, and now I go to my sleeve which is a repeat of chart two, which you already worked on the other sleeve. So let's try it again. Three and whoop, end of the half section and four. And then continue with the other half because no pinks Right, remember we didn't have enough space on the first half, so we won't have enough space on the second half. So we simply skip it. One, two, three, chain one, skip one. One, two, three, four, and five. And my raglan stitch is also a single crochet. Now we are at the front again, which means that we are going to work our chart three. Again on row nine, right? So if all the other ones are row nine, this one also has to be row nine, which means one, two, three, four single crochets. One, two, three, oopsie. Four single crochets and then I have one single crochet because I have three stitches left which means that I don't have enough stitches for the pink so I skip the pink and go to the last stitches which is one single crochet chain one skip one and then increase on the last stitch mm -hmm. Oopsie. Increase on the last stitch. Okay, and then I turn. Now on the way back, I have two options. I can follow the row, I can follow the chart, which is to single crochet and chain one, skip ones on every, you know, when I'm uh, asked to, or I can simply look at my work because every stitch that is not a chain one will be a single crochet. And whenever there is a chain one, I will simply chain one again. So I really don't need to look at the chart anymore because I can look at my work and always increase one on the first one. So I increased on my first one. And then I simply single crochet on every stitch except on the chains where I chain one, skip one. I can see it here. I have a space there. So I will chain one, skip it, and continue to single crochet. 
Now my raglan stitches are different because on the wrong side I will increase on my raglan stitches. I increase two. So I single crochet one in the raglan stitch. I pass my marker. I single crochet one more in the raglan stitch with the marker on and then I single crochet again in the raglan stitch. That way I have increased two and my marker is in the middle of those three stitches. And I continue single crochet until my next chain space. Oh, there it is. Here is a chain space. As you can see, there's a little hole, there's a little gap, and there are two stitches on the side, but not in the middle. So I will chain one and skip it and continue. Okay, so I will work this row following my, my work, not the chart, passing all of my markers, increasing on the raglan stitches, and single crocheting on every stitch other than my chains. And I will be right back with you when I am done. All right, so this is what the next section looks like. Focus it, there you go. So as you can see, we have worked our raglan increases on the raglan stitches. Remember, increase two so that there are two increases on each section. And we've simply passed our middle of stitch markers and we single crocheted on every stitch except for chain spaces. So if you look closely, you can see that the chain spaces are still there. Okay, now we're going to work the next row, but for that we need to change colors again. So let me rework that last stitch to show you how to do the ch color change again. So I insert my hook into my last stitch of the row and I pick up that green one that I had before. And I pass it through. And I'm going to hide this tail for the of the white one on inside my first stitch of the row. I pick it up. And there you go. I can pull a little bit. And it stays at the back, nicely hidden on that in that first stitch. And I can continue with my row now. All right, so we have just finished row nine and 10. We're going to go to row 11, which is over here of chart one, remember. So I start with my increase, which means two single crochets on the first stitch, right? And this time the X's will be long double crochets. So I single crochet on the first one, now chain one, skip one, and now I have a long double crochet. For that, it's a, a regular double crochet, but it's worked on two rows down. So it will be the same row of this color, the row of the same color. So over here, I insert my hook and I pull through the front and then I make my double crochet there. Okay, I need to make sure that my double crochet is at the front of my work and not, and I'm not wrapping my work in that double crochet. So I will yarn over, insert the hook, and I pull that bit of stitch to the front of my work, and then I make my double crochet there. Okay, and then I continue single crochet. But I have to skip the two stitches at the back from the chain and from the double crochet and I single crochet. Now I do, still don't have enough stitches for the pink so I will skip the pink and I will continue with the back which is one, two, three single crochets, chain and then two. Oopsie. So one, two, three single crochets, chain one, skip one, and then one and my raglan is two. And that's it. That is my front one. So now we go to the sleeve chart, sleeves and back. Again, row 11, just like the front. Just like the front, now the excess are double crochets. 
So I start with one. Sorry. Okay, so single crochet, chain one, skip one. Then I have one, two, three, four single crochets. And then I have my gap from the chains from the previous row. And that's where I work my double crochet. Remember, pull to the front. And that's where I work my stitch. And then chain one, skip one, one, two, three. Remember to skip the stitches. One, two, and three. All right, so now that I have reached my middle of section marker, I don't have enough stitches to work the middle, the middle pink. So I will skip the pink on the first half, I will skip the pink on the second half, and I will work the end of my chart. Chain one double crochet and remember I need to skip those two behind the chains and the double crochet okay now an important thing to remember or to notice about these charts is that at the middle the two halves are mirrors of each other. So I have the middle marker, right? And then I have one, two singles, one, two singles, chain one, chain one, double crochet, double crochet, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, chain, chain, one, one. Okay, so they go in a mirror fashion so that the first half will imitate the second half, but like this, right? Now this will also happen at the raglan and you will see it on the next part. So let's work the back now, which is the same row, right? So I have one. Oh, look, I have one before the raglan and then I have a chain. Oh, there I have a chain. Okay. And then here I have one, two, three, four single crochets. Oh, one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, Four. So understanding how they mirror each other at the raglan and at the middle stitch will help you complete these charts. So I have a double crochet, chain one, then one to three, skip two, two, and three. I am not at my middle of section yet, so I will continue to repeat the pink. Now, the next half is the mirror of this one. So yes, I can look at my chart, but I can also look at my work if I'm not feeling like looking at the chart all the time. So, you know, I have one, two. Oh, one, two single crochets, okay. One, two, and then I have chain one, skip one. And now I'm at the end of my section. So I'm finished with my pink repeats. I did two at the beginning, so I will do two at the on the second half, right? Four, then I'm at the end. I have chain one, skip one, then a single crochet, and then my raglan stitch, which I use. A marker on okay so this is my back now I'm going to repeat the sleeve we've already worked the sleeve before so I will fast forward it but um, you work it at your own time okay Okay, and now I am at the last part of the of my row, which is the front, which is chart three. And this again is a mirror of the first front, but you don't have to worry about that. Just follow the chart. So single crochet one, chain one, one, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six
three. Then I go to the end because I don't have enough stitches to repeat the pink. Double crochet. Okay, then chain one, skip one, then single crochet one, and then I have an increase at the end. One, and two. Okay, now again, these are mirrors of each other. So I have one, one, chain, chain, one, two, three, four, double crochet, one, two, three, four, double crochet. All right, so they mirror each other, just like the middle mirrors each other, just like every raglan, just like every middle. All right, so let's work the wrong side row, which just like before, every, every stitch is a single crochet, including the double crochets, except for raglan stitches where we increase to and we chain wherever there is a chain. So let's do the front together. So I increase one on my first stitch, then I single crochet to my next chain space where I chain one, skip one, and then I continue to do that until I hit a raglan stitch. Now, on my raglan straight stitch, I increase two by single crochet one, pass my marker, single crochet one and two. Okay, and then I continue making single crochets and chains until the end. So I will work this section and I will see you in a minute. All right, it's starting to take better shape. Now we have worked all the way to row 12 on the chart, I increased on the wrong side, I increased on my raglan stitches, I chained one on every chain space, and I single crochet on every other stitch, including double crochets. Oh, and I also increased at the front, right? We always increase at the front. So now I'm ready to my, for my next row, which in this case will be row one, because I finished my chart. I finished row 12, so I will start with row one. I won't use my ruler now. Now, row one is exactly the same as the others. So I will start with an increase. Okay, so I changed my color already and I already worked one single crochet, so now I have two at the beginning for that increase. Now, the beginning stitches, there's nothing there which means that I automatically skip to my pink section. I have one, two, then chain one, skip one, then double crochet, then one and two. Then, oh, I have more stitches, which means that I repeat my pink section again. One, two, chain one, skip one, double crochet, and one, two. And then I am at my raglan stitch, which I simply just pass my marker on. And there you go, that's my front. Now let's work the second chart on the sleeve. So I am on row one, remember? So let's do the beginning of my row. One, two. And remember how I told you that it's a mirror from the other? So I have my raglan in the middle, one, two on this side, one, two on this side. Now I have a double crochet there, which means that the next stitch is going to be a double crochet as well. Then chain one, skip one, and then one, two. Now that's the end of my first stitches, so then I repeat my pink until my middle marker. In this case, I think I only have space for one repeat. So 
So now I'm at my middle marker, which means that I repeat my pink again. One, chain one, skip one, double crochet, and one, two, three. And because I repeated the pink only once, then I only repeat only once on the second half and move to my last stitches. One, chain one, skip one, double crochet, and then one, two, and my raglan marker stitch. Raglan marker. Now again, just like before, you see here that it's a mirror of each other. Mirror, middle marker, one, one, chain, chain, double crochet, double crochet, one, two, three, four, chain, one, two, three, four, chain, double crochet, double crochet. They are mirrors of each other. And now you start seeing how there's always four single crochets, then a chain and a double crochet next to each other. And you can also see the direction in which the double crochets start moving. These ones go over here. So the next one is going to be to the left of the previous one. Here we have one. The next one is going to be to the left. And on this side, the double crochets move in this direction. So the next one is going to be to the right of the previous one. Number one, number two. And then on the next row, it's going to be on the right, on the next stitch. Same here on the right of it. And this one is going to be on the left. So they're going to move in this direction. Same with the middle, same with the front. Uh, sorry, same with the back, same with the front. All right, so after this row, it will be so much clearer how these stitches move. So let's do it again. I am a mirror, so I have two double crochet chain. Oh, one, two double crochet chain. Look at that. And then I repeat the middle, right? But as always, I have four single crochets, then double crochet chain. So I repeat one, two, three, four, as always. So one, two. Okay, and then I work my next half. One, chain one, double crochet. So remember, because it's a mirror, on this side I have double crochet chain, double crochet chain, double crochet chain, double crochet chain. On the other half, I have chain double crochet, chain double crochet, and chain double crochet. So they mirror each other, and which means that, that they turn around, right? And that will help you understand how it works and it will help you follow the chart as well and complete your yoke. So the chart is there really more of a guide on how the increases work. But once you understand how there are four single crochets in the middle and then there's the double crochet chain system going on and which one goes first, then it's really, really easy to follow. There you go. As you can see, these ones are to the left of the previous one. Oopsie, before. To the left, to the left, to the left. And on this side, they are to the right, to the right, to the right. So as you increase on the raglan, you will start increasing the double crochets that you have. And here they will start disappearing, just like in this picture because you are going to the center and then you're going to the center again and again and again. Okay? Um, and at the raglan stitches, again, you also mirror each other. So that's it. And let me show you how the finished one works so you understand a little bit better. All right, so this is the back of my cardigan. So this is my row one. And I can see very clearly here where is the middle marker, the middle of my back section. And as you can see, these double crochets go piling up to the left of the previous one. And these ones go to the right 
of the previous one. And they join in the middle, and then you start again. Okay, so following that system, <laughs> it will help you so much at completing the chart. Same over here, you can see where the raglan is, and you can see how they are mirrors of each other on each side of the raglan. All right, well, I really, really hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that you found it really helpful and that now your cardigan is on its way uh, to finish. I know that the yoke can feel a bit complicated at the beginning, but you know, once, that, once you understand the pattern, it does become quite intuitive. So just feel it, you know, follow your gut and continue working those charts. And, uh, and soon enough, you'll have your yoke finished. And after the yoke, it's really just nothing i mean it's so easy to do this part so i'm sure you'll do great with that part um i hope you enjoyed the video and please feel free to ask me any questions either here on the comments or also you can email me at sandra at nomadstitches.com i'm always free to answer questions and don't forget to follow me in case uh, you're interested in more tutorials for improving your crochet skills thank you for coming and i'll see you next time Bye bye